Hi, this is Joel Persinger. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really deeply appreciate it. Now, I want to show you something here real quick at the beginning of this video that I know you have in your house probably. Well, more than likely you do. I think everybody's got at least one. I got to confess, we probably have two or three of them, and that is a junk drawer. Now, ours is in the kitchen, but uh, you know, we got junk drawers other places too. I hate to confess it, but it's true. <laughs> we have a lot of junk. But what's interesting about junk drawers is that a lot of the stuff that ends up in junk drawers sometimes or just laying around ends up at a yard sale or maybe an estate sale when somebody passes away. Or maybe it's just that you're at the range and somebody walks up and says, hey, do you shoot a revolver? Because I got this old box of ammunition that's been sitting around forever and I don't know what to do with it. Can I give it to you? And you look at it and it says Winchester Super X 357 Magnum 158 grain metal piercing. And you realize what they just handed you is a collector's item. That's pretty cool. Or what you just got at the yard sale or what you just found in the, in the uh, estate sale is a collector's item. And that's what this ammo is. This is the old ammo from back when you can hear it rattling around. It's not a full box anymore. Uh, but this is the old ammo that used to be carried by highway patrolmen back in the days when police officers carried revolvers. And the whole concept behind this Super X metal piercing ammo was that it would pierce a car door or maybe, you know, break an engine block, but it would go through, you know, quite a bit of sheet metal and actually get to the person that you were shooting at if you happen to be a highway patrolman and you're trying to defend yourself or you're trying to stop somebody who's trying to hurt people. And they, they had, you know, 357 Magnum revolvers, but they wanted this ammunition, which was, quote unquote, metal piercing. Now, I, I'm not sure how metal piercing it really is, but it is a collector's item. It's worth quite a bit of money. So let me show you a couple rounds here. These rounds are uh, obviously just 357 Magnum rounds, but you'll notice if you look closely at the round itself, at the bullet itself, it's a lead core. Uh, that's my understanding. It's a lead core with a copper jacket and a pointed end. And the idea is that the pointed end and the copper jacket and the velocity from the round is supposed to make it metal piercing. Now, I'll be, I'm going to be really, really honest with you. I'm not an expert on antique or collectible ammunition, and you might be. So if you are and you know some stuff about this, please share in the comment section because I have searched all over the web. I've talked to two or three buddies just to try to find a history on these other than just speculation. And I've had trouble finding out a whole lot, but I've done quite a bit of research just trying to figure it out. But this was from back in the days, like when my dad was a police officer, he carried a Colt Python uh, on duty. Other guys carried guns like the Smith & Wesson Model 66 or uh, larger framed guns or whatever in 357 Magnum. And this was part and parcel of the ammunition carried by highway patrol specifically, or state troopers and the like, specifically to pierce uh, car doors. Now, here's the shocking part. <laughs> I hope you're sitting down. These things run about six or seven bucks each. Wow! <laughs> so the box of ammo, I mean, multiply times 50, right? That's a lot of dough. And at the time of this particular video, I was looking online and found a box of this that sold for $150. I found individual rounds being sold on the internet for $6, $6.75 each. Now, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not so sure that this will penetrate any better than modern 357 Magnum ammunition. And if this were my box of ammunition, which it isn't, it, it's on loan to me, a uh, buddy of mine uh, lent it to me, uh, I, I would keep them and not shoot them because they're, they're, kind of, they're collector's items, which is kind of cool. I, I don't collect stuff because I don't have the kind of money to spend on collector's items. I'm not a financially wealthy man. So all the stuff I have has to actually be functional and have a reason. But you know, if I could, I'd, I'd collect stuff like this because it's really, really cool. Anyway, I just wanted to share that little piece of history with you. And if you know more about them, the years that they were actually in production and the particular Highway Patrol uh, or state trooper departments that use them, or if anybody has any, maybe, maybe you were a police officer at one time or other, and maybe you carried this ammunition, I'd love to hear from you. Please comment in the comment section. I'm sure other folks would like to know as well, just because sometimes you just stumble on the coolest stuff. And I, I think this qualifies as some of the coolest stuff, personally. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't have a gun for you in this particular one because I had some really cool ammunition and I was kind of excited about it and I wanted to share it with you. Please like, subscribe. There's a button right up here so that you can do that and we'll let you know when new videos come out.
And if you would, please share us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all those other wonderful places on the internet so more people will know about the channel. It is growing like a weed, and I'm very grateful for that. Of course, we'd always like to have it grow more. It's because of you that it's growing at all, and I'm, I'm really, really grateful. Now, if you like gun videos and you're not a member of the National Rifle Association, you know that our gun rights are under attack now more than ever before, and I want to encourage you at minimum, at least, join the National Rifle Association. Now, I'd like to have you do a lot more other things, like write your congressman, write your senator, call them, pester them to death, show up at, at the town hall meetings and that kind of stuff, and maybe if uh, there are demonstrations that are peaceful, show up to those and those kind of things. But at minimum, you should join the National Rifle Association. So I put a link right here for you to do that. It'll take you to a spot on our website where you can join the NRA for a year for less than the cost of a box of ammunition. So if you're not already a member, please join. If you're already a member, extend your membership, upgrade your membership. It will help the NRA in this fight to save our firearms rights. Now, if you have guns for self-defense, I want to also advise you to get some insurance or some sort of backup that will help protect you if you ever have to use the gun to defend yourself. The service I use is called Second Call Defense. And one of the reasons I really like them is it's a foundation, not an insurance company. Now, the foundation is backed by insurance, and it's a fully funded foundation. And that way, if you need an attorney, you've got one on the phone within a couple, two or three rings, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you need money to get bailed out of jail because you got arrested after defending yourself, they're going to send money to the bondsman to do that. If you need money to hire an attorney to defend yourself, they're going to wire money to that attorney. Unlike insurance, what insurance does is insurance makes you pay for all of that up front, and if you win in court, either in the criminal case or civil case, then they'll reimburse you that money. So you may have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars and had to sell your home and everything else to pay for it before you get a dime from your insurance company. That's the way my insurance company works. The foundation doesn't work that way. It fronts the money, and then the foundation, if you're victorious, is reimbursed by the insurance company. You don't pay that money back. So I want to encourage you to check it out. I've got a link right here for you to do that. It'll take you to a spot on our website where you can check it out. And you can go to their um, uh, website directly, too, from ours, and you can check it out even more. And maybe it'll work for you. It is the service that I recommend because it's the service that I use. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching my videos. I deeply appreciate it. Have a wonderful week. Have a safe week. And of course, uh, whatever you do, watch the next video because <laughs> we'll have some really cool stuff coming up. Have a great week. Be safe.